This slide here shows the microstructure developments in the third case of the eutectic system. So again, we're still using the lead and tin eutectic system. Okay, so for this third case, we are actually considering the microstructures which develop um, along the composition of eutectic line or eutectic region which is 61.9 weight percent of tin so this is the eutectic composition eutectic composition and just to recall that this line here is the eutectic line eutectic line so let's consider this alloy which is having this comp eutectic composition is cool from the liquid phase all right what um, doesn't matter the temperature is down this vertical line y and y bar so it will pass through this eutectic point as the temperature is lowered, there will be no changes occur from Y until here. There will be no changes in the microstructure because this region um, is 100% liquid. Until it reaches the eutectic temperature, which is 183 degrees Celsius. So, upon crossing this eutectic isotherm or eutectic line, the liquid transforms, this liquid here will transform into both alpha plus beta phases, from liquid to alpha plus beta phases. So, the microstructure of the solid that results from this transformation consists of alternating layers here this is the inset of the microstructures so sometimes we call this as lamella right alternating layers or lamella eutectic structure so this is a micrograph of the lead and tin eutectic microstructure taken by electros microscopy okay so this figure here shows the lamella eutectic structure which happens at the eutectic point this lamella structure actually shows the beta alpha beta alpha eutectic layers okay this is the layer of alpha and beta growing into and replacing the liquid phase so this is the liquid phase as it moves into the eutectic um, line so this formation of alpha and beta layers will, will grow and grow and grow like that okay this is the eutectic growth direction until it replaces all the liquid and the process of redistribution of lead and tin occurs by diffusion in the liquid just ahead of the eutectic liquid interface. So the arrows actually indicate the direction of the diffusion of lead and tin atoms.